What does it mean to be abandoned, deserted, left to rot, and unwanted? So many places around the world have been left deserted, and the stories as to why are sometimes left unknown. It's always incredible to see how much things can change over time. Nothing is truly made to last forever. In the town of Keswick, it holds many secrets of its own. One of the busiest streets is home to two abandoned houses and a tunnel system that many people still know so little about. So many questions have yet to be answered, but that is until we uncover them ourselves. One of these houses, better known as the Walmart House on Woodbine, has been abandoned for years. It is home to graffiti from many of the kids who stop by to take a visit, as well as some incredible findings. The story behind this house was the family was said to have been evicted years ago, but the true story is left unknown. While exploring inside, there was much decay and destruction, but what was found on the top floor was astounding. A signed check for $812 from May 23, 1997 and a certificate from August 15, 1988 was signed to Michael William Walsh. Many old books and photographs have been discovered, but it was the graffiti, nature, and damage from others that had taken over the house and destroyed it. How do you feel when you entered the house? Um, nervous, kind of scared. Do you find the basements or the top floors to be the most creepiest and expand on why? Uh, the basements, because they're just creepy. They're darker, there's no windows. The garden center house, also located on Woodbine, is the most disturbing feature on this list. Said from a group of people who rented the house 10 years ago, things would move on their own, lights would turn on and off, and things would wake them up during the night. The house hasn't been used for the past 10 years since. Exploring inside the wrecked building showed little to no graffiti and large amounts of mold. When going into the basement, it was discovered it was possibly set on fire. There was charred wood beams and a flooded room. The one thing that was more unexplained over anything was the broken wall that seemed to have led to a hidden room. It was flooded with five feet of water. A crawl space from the other cellar led through to the flooded room, and a sign above the entrance read, Employees Only. Wendy, a family friend of mine, used to know a family who lived in the house years ago and was shocked to see how much destruction happened to it. She said the house used to be beautiful. Used products such as razors, toothpaste, and deodorant, a washing machine full of clothes, and a mattress were still left behind. But it was the atmosphere overall that gave this house a creepy feel. What do you think about the abandoned houses in Keswick? I've never been to one, but if I was to go to one, I'd want to like go in it and see what's in it. And I feel like there'd be like a lot of like broken things because like windows would be broken or boarded up. It'd be really cool, and I just want to like look around. The tunnel system across from Walmart isn't considered to be abandoned, but it makes the list for being incredibly creepy. The cars driving above the road overhead causes terrifying echoing noises going over manhole covers on the road that goes down into the tunnels, giving you a creepy and unsettling feeling. The tunnel system is considered to be a part of the sewer line, but you can apparently be fined if you are caught inside. Interesting items such as a chair, a Walmart shopping cart, a broom, two shovels, and a pair of rubber boots were found inside, but yet there was no graffiti whatsoever. While exploring inside, the tunnel seemed to have gone on for quite a while. The tunnels were flooded with about 5 inches of water, which contributed to not being able to find the end. What are you the most scared or worried about when going into an abandoned building? Stepping on a nail, because I've done that before. It hurt, or um, getting stuck in there, or getting caught, probably. Or finding a dead body. What do you think you would find in one of these houses? Probably like a lot of broken stuff, or really old like chairs, and like weird stuff in attics and basements. Like scary movies, basically. What do you think about the Bayonet House in Keswick? I think it looks pretty cool. And it's probably haunted. I know the one that has like the smashed window, so I wonder how that was caused. There are still so many abandoned buildings still left to explore. Old houses, hospitals, insane asylums, mansions, factories, the list could go on. But it's not just about why the buildings are there, it's about the story they have left behind. What mysteries will you uncover? <laughs>